The following video is a paid advertisement for the game Dungeon Hunter 5. If at any point during the video you wish to download the game and join me, you'll find a link to your preferred platform in the description below. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. On the surface, Dungeon Hunter 5 is a fun free hack and slash adventure game that is available for both phones and tablets. However, it provides three distinctive features that makes it so addictive, which is what I'll be talking about today. The first slice of available content is the single player, which has players fighting their way through various stages to reach a collection of treasure at the end. What strengthens the idea though is its execution. Each stage you will be randomly assigned another Dungeon Hunter 5 player to help you on your quest, which allows you to adapt your playstyle to either fighting as a team or to distract various enemies. Although these are offline counterparts, they still provide great support, and depending on their loadout, it can change the various combos that you can perform. Each single player level is only a few minutes long, which makes it perfect for playing on the go, and paired with some really great cinematic sequences and an overarching plot, with some really brilliant voice acting for a mobile game. We come to you with troubling news. We have reassembled the key of the Holy Forge, but we have learned that Ashtak the Slitherer has made the inner sanctum its nest. What's so terrible about that? Following this overarching plot, the player is taken to a variety of locations, so you may find yourself battling through an old castle, scaling vines in a jungle, or avoiding iron platforms that increase in heat from the lava surrounding them. Additionally, after completing a single player mission and unlocking hard mode, you can replay these levels on increased difficulty to receive better loot and even more experience. Or you can use the rush feature which will play the level for you if you're looking for a quick fix of experience. However, these rush tokens will need to be earned. You can also compete in the daily dungeon and a variety of events that will change throughout the year, which are really rewarding and last longer than most single player missions. Now the second feature that makes this game so great is the loot. After each mission you'll be given a collection of loot that you can use for your character. This will include new swords, crossbows, shields and spells. You can pair these with your character to play the game how you want to play it. But the really unique feature of this is the fusion ability. This ability will allow you to merge items that you don't wish to use with your existing items to make them even more powerful. For example, you can merge a collection of swords that you no longer use with a shield to make it even stronger, or you can fuse them with a spell, increasing its attack. You can fuse absolutely everything in the game, including weapons, shields, spells, armor, and minions. Now, loot can also be obtained from crates, which can be bought for a collection of gems that you will find throughout your adventure. These contain better odds at getting some extremely powerful and fun items, and they're worth trying out. Now the final feature that makes Dungeon Hunter 5 so good is Strongholds. After completing a few single player missions you will unlock your very own Stronghold. This is your area to defend and so by completing missions and finding minions you will have to strategically place your minions in anticipation for enemy attacks. You can also attack enemy Strongholds and if you are successful enough to defeat their minions you will be placed in a one on one battle with that player's offline counterpart. In addition to strongholds, there are also guilds, which you can create and join with your friends. 
and there are specific events exclusively to those within a guild. Now I hope that's given you some insight into the fun free hack and slash adventure game Dungeon Hunter 5. Make sure to go download it using the links provided in the description and join your friends in this adventure. That's about it from me and once again I would like to clarify that this is a paid advertisement between Gameloft and Chippy Gaming. So go forth Dungeon Hunters and I'll see you in battle. Peace.